Hello guys, I'm Jigweer back with another video for Katia V5 and today we will make a new part instead of working on the previous part I will show you how to make a brand new part as you can see on screen on the left hand side we have some dimensions on a part that we will try to replicate in Katia V5 in part design so let's get started and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video so let's start with Katia V5 here we can see that we want to make a part so we need to go to file new the dialog box appears we scroll down and go to part double click on the part and we wait for the part to open up once the part is opened up so we can see that this drawing on left hand side it's on X and Z plane that is made you can click on X and Z plane click on sketch so my way of making is a bit different because I prefer to make any drawing or any part within the isometric view if possible so whatever is convenient for you you, you may use so you can see in the view you have all the views that are available in Katia feature there are number of views that you can opt and choose in order to work with one I would prefer to choose isometric because it I feel kind of convenient just to get started like how the part will look like and from there you can always work ahead your way so right now I can see that yes I am on the correct plane because whatever I will be making on this plane let's say if I'm going to make a rectangle it's going to be looking kind of the same thing that we are given the part of so let's make a rectangle first of all I will use three point rectangle starting from the origin upwards anywhere click anywhere and you can drop anywhere that you want to you can also use center rectangle it's all your choice no obligation so you click this way so now you can see the dimensions which are given so we might need to do mathematics so here we have 70 from the left hand side of the part till one end and then continuing the same end we have till 56 on the right hand side of the part so 70 plus 56 if we want to do we can do it using calculators or we can just use Katia to do it for us so I click 70 plus 56 click enter it will do calculation for you I can see the part is in the middle so I can choose the left hand side from the center double click the part and in order to make sure it is centered I split 126 into half divided by 2 click enter so now my part is going to be in the center from wherever I'm going to continue the part with so now I have to make sure that what is the height of my part because you can see the white line indicates the part is not or the dimensions are under constraint we need to constrain it because yet it can move up and down any white line means it's under constraint and it need to be constrained before we move on that's the best way to deal with these problems otherwise your dimensions can vary in order to fix the dimension we are given on the left hand side right here it's 75 so we enter the value 75 click enter we have our part right here so it looks good we exit out of the sketch now we use the pad feature right here click on pad you click on the sketch you can see in the drawing that it is 125 so I enter 125 click enter yep it looks good so now 
what I need to do is I need to make sure that my profile look something like this what they have shown in the drawing so if I go in the top view and try to replicate this particular thing as I said I like to work in isometric I go back to isometric and make sure like you need to imagine here like how your part should look like and how it will look once you made the cut so now what I'm thinking to do is I will make a cut by which I would be able to make this whole section cut in one shot in order to get rid of all this extra material on the top and then we will further extrude cut on the bottom right of the part let me show you what I actually mean so on the top face I know now I need to make let, let me show you once again so now I want to have this particular cut right here you can see right here so there are several features we can use project 3d element you click on project 3d element you can project this particular surface that we want similarly we can project this particular line these two lines we projected it so now in order to have just a specific dimension being cut we need to make sure that the distance between the left hand side of the part should be till 70 at one length so I can make a profile starting randomly from anywhere touching the projected line and choosing the path similar way as we are able to see so let me project the other lines too so I projected the three sides of the part and I will make one side as construction just in order to make sure that I don't go inside or make mistakes I make the profile that is required and also I need to make sure whatever the thickness is right here as you can see is 25 I need to compensate that thickness from one side so I'm leaving some gap right coming back here somewhere and making sure that all the dimensions are good enough I come down and there we go there we go I click escape and now I don't need this line I don't need this extra line so I can always trim right here we have quick trim there are several options by default is trim you choose quick trim double click on any feature that you want to choose for a longer period of time so double click so now you can click on the line that you don't want and get rid of those lines so now all we need to do is we need to dimension this particular feature so we know that this feature is 70 so from here to here it's 70 and then we can also see that the distance from left hand side to this cut is 38 right here so we need to pay OCD attention to the dimensions that are provided to us in order to not mess up with the dimensions which are supposed to be because it's pretty easy to make mistakes while reading the drawing so we need to take that into consideration so distance from this line till the top is going to be right here is given 25 I double click and click 25 click enter similarly distance from the left side of the part till the broader side is 50 so whichever dimension that you want to keep chosen double click on that feature always so right here till one side is 50 I click on 50 type the value press enter and now I'm just left with one dimension to specify from this side till one end it can be left or the right end it doesn't matter so I it's 70 it's 
given to us so you can see it's fully constrained it should be either yellow or it should be at least like the yellow lines indicate that we have projected the lines the green lines indicate that it's fully dimensioned so we can exit the sketch so now we need to pocket it out we want we don't want to have this particular feature so we can simply pocket this entire sh entire thing click on the sketch and how deep do, do we want to go it's given right here it's 50 in the dimension so we click enter the value 50 so there are many ways of doing it we could have done get rid of this particular feature within one shot within the same sketch like I can go back and change my sketch if I want to I can get rid of that particular thing because after all we need to do the extrude cut of that particular thing so that's why for me it's easier to get it done in one shot instead of cutting it separately so I can simply now make another sketch on top of this and all I need to do this time is to project the entity or just click on the entire surface click exit sketch so I know that I don't need this part entirely so I pocket and I can click on up to last I click OK so I got rid of the entire surface in one shot so that was the main reason that I did this way so now I do have all the dimensions so this surface can be made in many different ways but the way that I would recommend is to make a plane plane option you can always there's an option different different options to make a plane I, I will choose offset from plane click on the planar surface the left hand side of the part and then it will ask you by how much do you want to offset and where you want to keep the plane so that it is visually easy for you to visualize how and where the plane will show the properties of so in this particular case I know that my thickness of this this particular part which is going to be I would say the stiffener in this case which looks something like this right is right here just let, let, uh, let you guys show under solid combine it have one more option which is stiffener which we are going to use to make our lives easy and I will show you how it works before that we need to offset the plane right here we can see it's 6 from one side of the part the left hand side of the part till the beginning of the stiffener and the stiffener itself is 20 in width so I will compensate and I will make the sketch at the half thickness of the stiffener what I mean is in, instead of offsetting a plane at 6 I will offset a plane at 6 plus half of the stiffener width which is 20 divided by 2 which is 10 so 6 plus 10 at an, at a distance of 16 and also on the other side other hand side right now it's opposite you can always click reverse direction and now I want to have a plane offset at 16 and click enter so now you can see that it looks something like in the middle instead of way too closer on the left hand side so now I click on the plane go to sketch so the best way that I would recommend you to use a stiffener is you simply project two lines right here that you want to have the stiffener among click OK right and you create both so in this case these are points so you double click on the point and click construction element click OK there's one way of converting any solid line into construction line construction line help you 
to just play a role of guiding your original lines or solid lines in order to maintain a specific grip throughout the plane section. So similarly, uh, the best part about construction element or a construction line is that it do not have any effect on the sketch itself. They are hidden within the sketch and do not play any role on the particular solid. So in order to convert this particular point, as I showed, showed you that this point can be converted by double clicking, we also have features right here, which is construction element. So I can click on the point, click on the element, and it will get converted into a construction point. Similar way, I can also make sure that both the points are constructed. So now, all I need to do is make one line, or you can choose this profile, and join both the points. And click Escape, and get out of the sketch. So now, the feature that I am going to use is Stiffener. I click on Stiffener. I click on the line, so now it's giving me an option that what's the thickness that I'm looking for. So I want the thickness of 20. I can click preview and yes, that's what I'm looking for. So I can click OK and that's a desired part. We just need one fillet right here of radius 25. So here is the fillet option edge fillet, click on the fillet, right, you click on the edge that you want to, to apply fillet on, you press 25, click enter, and there you go. So, this is your desired part. Yep, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Take care, bye bye.